welcome to Bastion Time. It has finally occurred to me after all this time due to several comments uh, from some people that um, I haven't really talked about this watch, although maybe I have and I just don't remember. Um, but if I have, then apparently none of you can remember either. So this is the Zelda watch from the 80s. And uh, it doesn't have a battery in it right now, but it lets you play a, a Zelda sort of style game. And uh, I actually had this uh, same sort of watch when I was a kid, uh, same color and everything, um, but I, I didn't get very far in the game because it was really not well designed, let's just say. But anyways, a friend, after all of these years, gave me another copy that he had had for a long time. So anyways, there's that. So I'm not just some crazy person pointing to a watch. Well, actually, yes I am. Never mind. Anyways, let's get to that first story. So a father and daughter were playing uh, a bunch of Zelda games together, and the father decided that for um, when his daughter was playing Wind Waker, he was going to do something kind of revolutionary uh, as far as Zelda games go, and that is to hack uh, the Wind Waker, only to change all of the pronouns in reference to Link from male to female. So that way, um, when his daughter entered her own name, um, it would make sense. And for the female Zelda fans out there who have gone ahead and inputted their name, of course you'll notice that despite whether you enter a female name or a male name, they always, uh, when referring to Link, refer to him as him and he, of course. Before Halloween, Christina Aguilera dressed up like this, and her uh, date dressed up as well. And uh, for whatever reason, this magazine article is claiming that she is dressed up as Zelda Warrior Princess. Um, I wasn't aware that there was any incarnation of Zelda wherein she was a warrior princess, but I would welcome such an incarnation. Um, but uh, despite that, she doesn't look anything like Zelda, and her date is wearing a green tunic sort of thing. But uh, yeah, definitely not Zelda and Link. Not really sure what that's about. Our next story is about an amazingly detailed replica of the Skyward Sword Harp, and uh, it's just down to the finest detail, a perfect replica, except the problem with it is that it doesn't play like a harp. Now, this is up for sale on Etsy, and, um, and I suppose the point of this is you could use it as like a decoration piece, or if you're cosplaying or going for Halloween as Skyward Sword Zelda, then this would be useful, or even Sheik from uh, uh, Ocarina of Time, because it's the same heart, really. I would be so much more inclined to buy this if it actually played, like the harp. If you could play it as an instrument, I'd buy it in a heartbeat, but as it's not, meh, not for me. But speaking of things that you can buy if you'd like, um, Fangamer decided to sort of compile a list of various Zelda art pieces that are for sale, and um, and this particular one is uh, obviously the Master Sword and the Four Sword, the two most iconic swords in the Zelda franchise, along with the various symbols um, that sort of relate to each of those. And this one's created by an artist named Mikey Mann, and I'm pointing this out just for the simple fact that I uh, have met Mikey Mann on two occasions, actually. The first time was at Triforce Tribute, which was an art show here in Portland of all Zelda art pieces, um, and it was amazing. And he had an awesome piece. It wasn't this one, it was a different piece and uh, it was fantastic, possibly one of the best there, possibly the best there. Um, and uh, anyways, so I met him at the art show, and uh, then eventually we ended up um, meeting for coffee and playing Four Swords uh, on our 3DSs and had a grand old time, and I was able to take a look at this piece before 
it was in its final form and it looked great then, it looks amazing now. If you want a copy of this or any of the other pieces that Fangamer has compiled from various different artists, uh, there'll be a link for you down below. And that's it for this episode of Zelda News. Of course, tomorrow is the Nintendo News episode, and then two days from now is the second Zelda News episode. So I'll see you then. Bye, guys.